are so excited you are joining us this morning. We hope you enjoy worshiping and hearing our Bible story this week. What makes you want to say, I quit? Is it one more page of fractions making numbers soup in your brain? One more time dad says no to getting your own phone. Maybe one more PE class where you get picked last for a team. One more time your sister starts the fight and mom blames you. One more broken promise, one more dropped lunch tray, When tough things pile up, it is easy to give in and quit trying. But truth is, you were never meant to push through on your own strength. God knows every single hard thing you're walking through. God knows every moment that feels like just too much. And God offers to carry those heavy burdens with you. When you take one step and another and another, you find that God can plant seeds of hope inside. Call it nerve, backbone, spirit, pluck, tenacity, grit. Each time you give it another try, when you sit down to study again, or head back out to the practice field, or choose a good attitude instead of slamming the door, you build the muscles to push through. You rest in knowing that God holds the end of your story. God will give you the power to keep going. As you refuse to give up when life gets hard, others can see God at work in you. That's why grit is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Everything keeps telling me to quit and I go where I'm going. But I'm never ever gonna stop And there's no sign of snowing Oh, 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 oh. 
Are you ready? I was born ready. I really appreciate you changing this light bulb for me. It's a good thing you brought in a professional to do this. Yeah. I love you, Mama. All right. Ready, tidy, lefty, something. Oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Ow! Brandon, a little help? Please. Hello everybody, I'm Lawson. And I'm Brandon. And you are watching The So and So Show. We have got an incredible show for you today with a very special guest. That's right, Brandon. It's time to welcome someone who knows stuff. Woo. See you again, Charmaine. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Of course, you need no introduction, but just in case, please tell the audience who you are and what you know. My name is Charmaine, and I'm a singer. Uh, could you give us a little bit of your, your history? Well, sure. I started off as a background singer, but then I decided to start writing music of my own, and I had a little hit song. A little <laughs> hit song. It was huge. Oh. It played everywhere around here. <laughs> would, you, would you? Now, we hate to put you on the spot, but do you think you could maybe sing a little bit of it for us? Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. I love this song. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I fly way up high, I break into the sky. You ask me how and I just cannot lie. You never know and I just can't deny. I cannot stop, I have to see it all. I cannot stop, I have to see it all. No! no. <laughs> Incredible! To see it so close. Oh, it's not that big a deal, not guys. Not big <laughs> deal, it was a huge hit. It's huge, yeah. Hey, what have you been up to since the song came out? Well, I've been working on new music, and you have no idea how hard it is to write a second hit song. <laughs> well, do you want to try some on us? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay, um, here's the one I was working on today. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Minor tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop my ice cream on the ground My coat is still in the lost and found I don't know what the next word is But it's something, something, yeah well, that, that was, There is a song I mean, there. I, I think it... it, it was, um, well, you're, I, you're not that into it, are you? No, it's not that. No, it's, 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 I, it's, I just it's, think maybe... Well, then it's, it's okay. I get it. Oh, how about wait. this one? This okay. Guy. okay. Oh, oh, All yeah. Right. All okay. right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Where? <laughs> yeah. What? Where? 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 Uh, yeah. Don't know where I left my peanut butter. Don't know where I left my peanut butter. Don't know where I left my peanut butter. It's gotta be somewhere in the kitchen, right? Don't know where I left my peanut butter. All I wanted was a PB and J. Don't know where I left my peanut butter. No. I mean, I... Uh, what about this one? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's a toad that lives in my pond outside. If he were giant, and on his back I'd ride. <laughs> what about this one? This is the one. Computers! Beep, 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 beep
Comme tout jazz. <rire> well, that's all I've been working on so far. That's all? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Charmaine, I'm worried for you. I like you so much and think that you're so talented, and I wouldn't want you to be a one-hit wonder. That was dramatic. Listen, here's the thing. I feel extremely lucky to have had one hit. You know how many artists work their entire lives and, and never have that kind of response? It's incredible. It really is. People, people love it. <laughs> But I can't predict the future. No one can. All I can do is keep making music and hope I write something else that connects with people. So you aren't worried? Worried? Yeah. No, I got into music because I have a, a song inside of me that has to get out. I was happy when I was a backup singer, and I'm happy now on my own. Uh, but what are you going to do if your next song isn't a hit? Write another one. But what about the one after that? Write another one. And, and the one after that? Write another one. This job is hard. And if you want to be successful, you can't let tough times get you down. You gotta hold on. R refuse to give up. That's yeah. really inspirational, Charmaine. Yeah, I, I think I may have inspired myself. Hold on, keep trying. You're gonna make it through. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, oh, okay, well, thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> thank you, bye. bye. Hold on. Wow, she, she really is amazing. Yeah, uh, she is. Hey, you think we could do that? Like, I mean, write a hit song? Oh, I could for sure. You, you, okay. Show me, I, I want to see this. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> hit it. Boom, boom, boom. I love chewing gum. Won't you give me some? Chewing gum, I love. I love you, I love you. It's Bible story time with Kevin. Hey, hey guys, um, listen, unfortunately something has come up and I can't be with you all today, but don't worry, everything's fine. And I don't want to leave you all high and dry. So I asked my good friend Cameron and he's gonna take over for me today. All right, take it away, Cameron. Hey, fellas. We're trying to write a hit song and uh, it's really hard. Any advice? Um, sure. Write about what you know. Great. <gasps> Donuts. <clears throat> they're round and they're also delicious. Too bad they're not nutritious. I ran out of breath, but you know what I mean? Yeah, what are we talking about today? Uh, today, we're talking about Joseph. Ooh, awesome. Joseph, Mary, baby Jesus. I love this story. Wait, is it Christmas? I didn't get you a present. No, actually, different Joseph. This Joseph is from the Old Testament. Okay. Joseph was one of 12 sons of Jacob. Joseph was Jacob's favorite son, which naturally made Joseph's brothers jealous. That's right, and so much more. What was that? We're going to learn all about Joseph on today's episode of... Make It To The Top! Welcome to Make It To The Top, a game show where our contestants have to climb the mountain we call life to see if they can make it to the top. I'm your host, Vanna Valmont, and today our contestant is Joseph. How are you, Joseph? I'm great, thanks, Vanna. Um, yeah, okay, so Old Testament Joseph's on a game show. Could be fun. So, you were your dad's favorite son out of 12? Pretty impressive. I know. Dad showed everyone I was his favorite by giving me a coat of many colors. Whoa, looks like you're on your way. It's true, things were looking pretty good for Joseph. His future was very bright. 
He even had dreams of what his future might look like. Tell us about your dreams, Joseph. Well, I dreamed that my brothers and I were tying bunches of grain out in the field. Suddenly, my grain stood up straight, and their grain all gathered around mine and bowed down to it. So, wait, you were like the 11th son, so that means that 10 of your brothers were older than you. Whoa. And you dreamt that they all bowed down to you? Yeah. And I had another dream. The sun and moon and 11 stars all bowed to me. What a bright future. You're going to make it to the top of this mountain in no time. Joseph was having a wonderful life. But like I said, Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. And it wasn't long before they came up with a plan. When Jacob sent Joseph out to the fields to see his brothers, they were waiting for him. So you went to see your brothers? Yeah, I just wanted to see how they were doing and see how the flocks were doing. I was just walking along, not a care in the world. But then? Then I found my brothers and they weren't too happy to see me. They took my robe. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Then they threw me down a well. And then they sold me to some slave traders and told my father I was eaten by a wild animal. A tough one for sure. Joseph was sold to a man named Potiphar, one of the Egyptian king, Pharaoh's officials. But get this, even though Joseph was enslaved and far from home, the Lord was with Joseph. Joseph, you fell pretty far. I'm so sorry. How about, tell us about your time with Potiphar. Well, actually I did okay. Potiphar really liked me. He put me in charge of his house and everything he owned. You're headed back in the right direction. Keep on climbing. But then... But then? Potiphar's wife asked me to betray him, and I wouldn't do it. So she convinced Potiphar to throw me in prison. Yup. Joseph was thrown in prison for something he didn't do. But look at this. While Joseph was there in prison, the Lord was with him. Prison. That's a tough situation. Yeah, it was tough. And unfair, but you know what? The man running the prison trusted me and put me in charge of all the other prisoners. Two of those prisoners were special, weren't they? Yeah. The Pharaoh's personal wine taster and baker were in prison too. And I helped them out, especially when they had dreams that they didn't understand. You see, God sometimes helps me know what dreams mean. So what did the dreams mean? Well, the wine taster dreamed that he was going to, in three days, be released from prison and the Pharaoh was going to give him his job back. I told him to put in a good word to the Pharaoh for me. <laughs> Whoa, a direct connection to the king of Egypt? You're on your way up. <laughs> so, did the wine taster remember to tell Pharaoh about you? No, he forgot and I had to remain in prison. You're not very good at this game. Well, it's not just a game to me. It's my life. And sure, things don't always go the way I expect, but God has always been with me. God was with me when I was in the well. God was with me when I was enslaved in Egypt, even in prison. So I'm going to hold on knowing that no matter what the future holds, God will always be right there. Oh! Yes! Amazing, you did it! Yeah, I didn't really do anything, but yay! I'd like to thank our contestant, Joseph, who, with God's help, kept climbing. Thanks for watching. Make it to the top! What happened to Joseph was scary and unfair, but his story doesn't end in prison. We'll hear more about Joseph next time. Oh, cool, a cliffhanger. Yeah. And Joseph just kept going, didn't he? He did. Remember, Joseph wasn't alone. God was with Joseph no matter what he was going through. Just like God is with you and me.
all of us will go through our ups and downs in life. And sometimes we just have to hold on and believe that God is there with us. Really great story, my friend. No problem. See you next time. Cameron, tell stories that are really, really great. Better than a donut on a big ol' big ol' plate. Yeah, that's gonna be huge. Uh-huh. Reveal the question. Today's question is, what helps people get through hard things? Oh, uh, let's see, talking to friends, family, maybe even a counselor or a grown-up you trust. And you can talk to God when oh, you're no. going through something hard. People can get through hard things by taking their mind off the problem. Reading a book, playing a game. Or writing a song. Don't know. However you deal with hard times, know that they don't last forever. And know that God is with you. You know, another thing that won't last forever, this show. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Hold on. We'll be there. Yeah. Or we'll be square. Or we'll be a donut. Yeah. Donut. Okay. Fly